It's been a busy week for Ole Miss sports. If you think about it, or especially for a football team and baseball team, within the last, what, six days, seven days or so, you know, Ole Miss has got three baseball transfers, but also Ole Miss has got three football commits as well, too, all within the last, yeah, six or seven days. Saturday night, just after six o'clock, we got a football commit. Got a football commit for the class of 2025. Three-star safety slash corner. Major Preston has announced he is coming to Ole Miss. Now, I say safety slash corner because he's a guy who has played both safety and corner at his days in Virginia, but also at his days at IRG Academy down in Florida as well, too. Did the research. This is the guy who has played strong safety. He's the guy who has played free safety. He's played corner. He's played nickel. Basically, he has played every position in the secondary the last couple seasons in Virginia or at IMG Academy down in Florida. And this will be a guy who I will believe will play both positions at Ole Miss at some point in his career. Now, he's a guy, he is listed as 5'11", weighs 180 pounds. You know, not your tallest guy, not your biggest guy. Hopefully, he can still grow a couple inches. Hopefully, put on some weight. But this is my opinion here. This is a guy, once again, not your tallest guy. Most of the time, on the outside, is when you have your best corners. Usually, even on offense, you know, your best receivers or guys on the outside. That's how it usually works out. Same for the defense. Your corners, your best corners are usually guys down at the ends guarding the best receivers. I see Major being a guy guarding the SWAT receiver. He's going to be a guy, in my opinion, who will play on the inside. Also, as far as safety, to me, he kind of looked more comfortable playing free safety than strong safety. That's just my opinion, but possibility he could play both at Ole Miss. Possibility he could play on the outside, but as a corner, I just don't see it. But anyway, he's a guy who can play basically every position in the secondary for Ole Miss. But I do see him playing more as a free safety or a guy who will be guarding the SWAT receiver. That's just my opinion. But, you know, I do want to bring this up for a minute as well, too. And, you know, Major is now the 12th commitment for Ole Miss in the class of 2025. When you look at our football commits right now, you kind of see a pattern. You see something pretty similar with these football commits. One thing you will notice is Ole Miss has a bunch of safety and corner commits. Five of the 12 commitments right now are guys who play safety or corner. Actually, one of the guys plays linebacker too. But for those who don't know, Ole Miss is losing a bunch of guys in the secondary after the 2024 season. And look, safeties and corners will be a huge need for Ole Miss after the 2024 season. Now, of course, Ole Miss will get several transfers back there as well, too. But you look at the roster, and there's probably some names I'm forgetting about. But I believe Ole Miss is losing around eight-plus guys in the secondary after the season. And this is all just seniors. This is not including, look, let's just be honest. There will be some guys who will transfer out as well, too, after the 2024 season. But I believe there is around eight guys or so who are seniors and, you know, can't come back and play again in 2025. Look, you have John Saunders Jr. You have Lewis Moore, Brandon Turnage, uh, Trey Amos, Key Warts, Yam Baines, Trey Washington, all those players 
all seniors. All these guys will get a lot of playing time for Ole Miss in 2024. A lot of these guys will also be starters for Ole Miss as well, too, this season. So I think you guys kind of see now why Ole Miss is recruiting so many safeties and corners is because we are losing a bunch out for the season, and that is going to be a huge need for us in the future. But I do want to talk about this as well, too. As far as his game, like his strengths, weaknesses, scouting report, that type of stuff, I will say this for Major. Now, Major's a guy described as very smart. Everybody says he's a guy who has a very high IQ, very aware of what's going on, very quick learner. I even talked to one guy who believes Major's a guy who has potential to be a future coach down the road. If it is, you know, like a defensive coordinator coach one day, safety's coach, you know, something along those lines, a guy who is very smart and just knows a lot for his age. And that's why some people are saying he's a guy who has potential of being a coach someday down the road if he wants to be a coach down the road. So that's one thing I've always been told is very smart guy, high Q, quick runner, very good awareness, always aware of what's going on. Now, a couple things he's got to work on. Or some things you just hope they'll, you know, improve. Or some things you just kind of hope will happen for him. Now, once again, this is a guy, he is 5'11", weighs around 180. You're hoping he can grow a couple inches. If he could be, you know, 6'1 or 6'2", that would be great. That would be awesome. Also, you know, look, this is a guy, look, I'm not, it's not a concern. I'm not worried about it, but he needs to, he need, look, he needs to put on some weight. Let's just be honest. He needs, he needs to put on around 20, 25 pounds or so to play in the SEC. And of course, he'll put on some weight. Just be patient. It'll happen. But at this time... Needs to put on some weight. I will say this as well, too. This is just kind of my opinion of him watching the film, watching the highlights, that type of stuff. But to me, I want to see him be more consistent. And once again, this is going back to IMG Academy. Look, I get it. I understand it. When you play for the best high school football team in the country and a bunch of those players or guys who are going to you know the you know going to you know future division one schools down the road, you're not known as the guy. And you know it's different compared to most high schools. Most high schools out there, or especially just even here in North Mississippi. Look, of course, Ole Miss, oh, of course, you know, Mississippi has some good talent. Of course, there's some guys, you know, going to Ole Miss, going to Mississippi State, Southern Miss, and other nearby schools as well, too. But basically, here in this area, look, if you're a three star, or, or if, even if you're a four star, if you're a five star, basically, you're the best part of the team. I am to me, IMG Academy is kind of known as like an all-star team, basically. I guess is kind of how you describe it. You got a bunch of the best players in the country all playing on the same team. Here in North Mississippi, you don't have all these four-star kids on the same team. Most teams in this area don't even have a four-star recruit. Most teams in this area don't even have a three-star recruit. Of course, there's some schools out there who have, you know, three- and four-star recruits. But overall, there's not many in this area. 
So down there, I get it. When you play on the best team in the country, and when you play with a lot of good talent around you, everybody else is making good plays too. And it's kind of hard to make your stats look very good. I guess it's kind of the point of where I'm trying to get to, or else what I'm trying to say. If Major played for a school in this area, his stats would be a lot better. This will be a guy who would have a lot more tackles, more receptions, possibility more sacks, and who knows what. But when you play for a school like that, it's kind of hard to tell sometimes how good you really are. If you like it or not, that's just kind of how it is. But And even a bunch of those guys who go to that, to that high school, look, you don't see many freshmen and sophomores playing for IMG Academy. Most of the guys that play there are mostly juniors and seniors. Actually, just to be honest with you, most of the guys that, you know, starters and even guys who are in the rotation, the majority of them are seniors. There's a bunch of guys who transferred to that high school that their last season to try and get noticed more, try and get more offers. There's, I mean, there's not many kids out there who go to that same high school all four years. Some guys go there just for one season just to try and get noticed more by scouts and head coaches. But I want to see him get more consistent. And hopefully this, this season, his senior season, hopefully he'll have an incredible senior season and put up some better numbers in his junior season. This is also a guy I'm kind of hoping can get a little more physical as well, too. Sometimes that was kind of a little inconsistent as well, too. But that's just kind of a couple things I want to see him just work on, improve on, just be more consistent of. But, you know, overall, decent pickup for Ole Miss. Um... Let's just be honest here. I mean, he's going to be a guy on the bench for a couple of seasons. Possibility by his junior season. It could be in the rotation by then. Possibility. Um, but has some things he has got to work on and improve for sure if he wants to play at Ole Miss in the SEC. That's just my thoughts on this whole situation. Uh whether he all starts and opinions will too, but that's pretty much all I got for the videos. So if you can just leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already, it would be appreciated. See you guys in this video. Have a good one. And of course, howdy toddy.